Well, I, th I thought it was a an entertaining game uh, for the fans, obviously. I don't think it's a great game for both coaches. I think we look at the number of chances and, and it was uh, certainly a up and down game in Halifax. Like, if you give time and space to, uh, you know, they've got, they've got a solid lineup and a solid group of defensemen and uh, they challenge you when they have the puck every time and that's what we saw. So. Uh, we needed Steinman to make some big saves for us, and I thought we were really opportunistic going in with the puck, and, and our, our transition was real good, and we had some good rushes and, and plenty of scoring chances of our own, and we ended up coming back with two points. Yeah, we, do, we know St. John can clog you down pretty good, and, and they play a smart game and uh, try to slow it down and, and clog the neutral zone. So if you're stubborn against a team like that, you going to end up paying and I don't think we executed well in the first period and uh, you come back and, and at the inside after the first intermission being uh, tied 2-2 is probably not the look that you want and I thought we, we needed to change our mindset going into the second so that's what we addressed and uh, it started with a great penalty killing to start the uh, second period and, and a goal by uh, Preston and uh, I think that that kind of got us going the right direction. Uh, there is ups and downs during the season, and the biggest thing is I, I try to stick with it. Uh, I knew it was finally going to come. There, I, the amount of opportunities I had in the games where the puck just didn't go in or someone didn't capitalize on a game in the past, like it, it was bound to happen. It was bound to come, so I wasn't too worried, and I just stuck with it. And I mean, our team is when when we're winning, it's not something I really look at. It's just hopefully it happens. No, oh, they uh, well, they're a really strong team, and they're a contender this year for sure. So, I mean, it was a really close game. It was one of the, probably the closest and hardest game we had this season, but uh, we played to best ability and we stuck it out. So, I know that was really good uh, for the team. I mean, we don't know much about them. We haven't really seen them. We'll probably look into them and then hopefully come out and just play our game. When we play our speed and not really to the other team's level, I feel like that's when we're at our best. Um, fast, transition, playing good in the D zone, those are our key things. And I think that if we execute that, then uh, come out on top hopefully and then big road trip after that yeah, I, I think he's been good from the start like uh, Preston's been uh, one of the mo most consistent players uh, s since the start of the season he's he's skated really really well uh, he's counted on to play against the other team's top line on most nights uh, he's developed great chemistry with uh, Kalal and and uh, and Miles Mueller and I think the three of them have, have very well complemented each other and even though they haven't played together uh, you know every every game they've for the games that they have they've played extremely well that's 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 what happens with those new sticks uh, you, you get in prime prime area like this and you put a little bit too much on it and I, I guess you don't know if there's a crack but it's it's one of those that you you go to bed and you think about it that night you, you dream of those opportunities right down the pipe and uh, We've got two two guys that broke with broken sticks, so I'm sure Macker will take care of that.